Um, so today, yep, we are talking about uh, how to maximize your investment with teams. Uh, and for those, you know, like I'm sure there's a, there's a, it's a mix of folks here. Some are familiar with Workbot, some who aren't, but I'll just share a bit more about Workbot. Um, so the way to think about Workbot uh, for teams is that it's a low code, no code platform. Um, to automate work with MS Teams uh, as your as your command console. So with the recent uptick in MS Teams usage, it's becoming increasingly popular to work from uh, from Teams. And so Workbot will allow you to unlock these powerful uh, automations. Um, and uh, so we have the Workbot for Teams connector, uh, which basically um, enables you to connect your your Teams workspace to Workado. Um, and once it's in, once you're in Workado, you're connected to a thousand plus applications, uh, powered by the Workado recipes, of course. And uh, uh, needless to say, our platform will allow uh, you know ac secure access to your data. And uh, one thing that's particular to Workbot is uh, to be able to fully customize the user experience. And I'll show you a bit more about what I mean. So what you see in the slides here uh, is an example of a a bot message uh, where you can define each element uh, as you see fit, including the links, uh, dynamic list of fact sets, and buttons. So, John, on that note, uh, this is particularly important. Like, as uh, you know, as uh, like all of us, like work with uh, like various applications. Like somewhere I was reading, uh, like depending on the size of the company, you're using at least eight uh, different applications on a daily basis. So building this kind of experience also normalizes, like you don't have to learn the UI or the navigation for each of the application, let's say the Jira, Salesforce, uh, Workday and whatnot. Uh, it, uh, you're working with the standard interface that you're familiar with directly from Teams. So yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, that's exactly right. So as the bot, as a bot builder in your organization, you can build uh, a, a per, like a completely customized user experience for the user uh, that is that is centered around the function that the user wants to do. For example, here it's centered around uh, you know uh, uh, Salesforce records, right? Or it could be for um, PTO. So in the background, they may be connected to different different applications like Salesforce, uh, Workday, um, ServiceNow, Jira, uh, but you can keep a, a consistent interface in Workbot for Teams, uh, and then then the user doesn't have to worry about you know the different different interfaces of all the different applications that he has to use, uh, he or she has to use, but uh, instead focus on the task at hand. Uh, and and Workbot will allow you to to customize this experience completely, and I'll, and I'll show you in the upcoming demos. And, and John, I think we jumped a little ahead. So if you go to the like uh, if you go to the next uh, set of slides, right? Uh, uh, it's it's uh, usually like building something like this takes like developers. The APIs are available for Teams. APIs are available for uh, uh, like these uh, other applications, the SaaS applications. But what uh, like with Workbot, as I understand, like it's easy to build without having to write any code, and uh, like the deployment is all in the cloud, so there's very little operational overhead. Or it's actually there's no operational overhead, and uh, we can really build this fast, and which you're going to demo in the next 50 minutes. Yes, exactly. So uh, once again, I would like to stress uh, that this is a no-code, uh, low-code platform, right, for your bot to operate on. So if, if you can see over here, uh, I will show this uh, in in a demo later on. But basically, in the background, right, we are linking uh, Splunk, ServiceNow, and Jira. Uh, and wrapping it into a bot. Uh, so this is really this is really powerful applications, which I will show you later, and it can be done pretty simply. Um, okay, so after all that talk, right? Uh, the fundamental question: Why even automate work in Teams? Uh, it's it's becoming increasingly harder uh, harder for essential work to be done, regardless of what business function you're in, right? Whether you're in marketing, sales, IT, engineering, HR, finance, all of us are working with a dozen tools every day, and the number of tools increases every year. So it's getting increasingly hard uh, to do essential work because we're constantly switching between applications to complete the simplest of tasks, right? From creating a simple help desk request in ServiceNow, creating an issue in Jira, submitting a PTO. Uh, all that involves us jumping between various apps, and we have to constantly uh, learn the changing interfaces, and it's a productivity killer. 
So we want to create a world. Uh, what we're trying to what we're trying to create with Workbot is a world where we don't have to interact with every team's tools, right? We can complete tasks from where, where we already work. Uh, and, and that happens to be in lots of places in teams where we are having conversations about work and you know whether we are discussing deals, triaging tickets, trying to recruit a candidate, whatever the task may be. Uh, the most important thing is we, we don't have to wait anymore with WorkBot. You don't have to wait to get things done. Automations play a big role in self-service experiences.